the best sound bars offer a few benefits over more conventional home theater speaker setups. They tend to take up less space, are more comfortable to set up, and are often more affordable, wireless subwoofer that you can hide next to the couch or in the corner of the room, and it will automatically sync with the speaker you place in front of your TV. In this video, we will break down the top 5 best budget soundbar in 2021. Click the link down below to see the more information and latest price update. Ok, let's get started with the video. First up, we have the JBL Bar 2.1 channel soundbar with wireless subwoofer. The JBL Bar 2.1 is a great entry-level soundbar that delivers super solid sound quality and is coupled with a wide range of features. The manufacturer has delivered a large number of soundbars in the past and the JBL Bar 2.1 has been the definite best, and you can see by a large number of ratings of Amazon nearing the 1000 marks. In design perspective, the manufacturers opt for provocative and eye-catching designs for their budget products as a way to mask the lacking performance of their products. JBL Bar has not gone that way though, opting for a minimal and simple design, with clean and refined lines on its body. Black cloth wraps the grille of this device beautifully and the side panels are made out of the brushed aluminum texture. The subwoofer is made that way as well, with its boxy cuboid shape, which is pretty classy. The whole installation process of this soundbar is pretty easy. And you have the freedom to place the subwoofer wherever you want and the cables won't ruin your whole setup. In the performance department, the JBL Bar 2.1 is armed with a pair of 2.75-inch drivers and the compact 5-inch woofer, which combined pump out about 100 decibels of sound, which is adequate for mid-sized rooms. There is also a Dolby Digital Decoder that is responsible for controlling power and on top of that, it has DTS True Surround and DTS True Volume features. This light and the small package is capable of doing so much, and the wireless subwoofer takes things to another level for convenience and performance. At the end, this is essentially a 2.1 system, and it does its task perfectly, and during testing, I noticed that, the drivers delivered some clear mids, coupled with adequately sharp highs, to the top, it off the subwoofer does pump out thick and rich bass. However, it couldn't go deep due to its small size, as it stopped at about 50 Hz. The Dolby features do a perfect job of sharpening things up and cleared the dialogues. The best feature was the transition from quiet to louder is dampened, so you do not get shocked. On the fourth place, we have the Yamaha Audio YAS209BL soundbar with wireless subwoofer. The Yamaha Audio YAS209BL is an excellent soundbar that is also very affordable and has an Echo Dot built in for an amazing smart home solution. It has Amazon Alexa features, can house a Fire TV stick, and it delivers some great sound from its drivers and wireless subwoofer. The initial installation is extremely easy and has tons of other smart features that will please every buyer. In design perspective, the Yamaha Audio YAS209BL command looks like any other soundbar on the market, long, black, utilitarian that is designed to sit under the TV. However, I quite like this device, it feels cozy and at home. With its nice soft to touch materials and its bulb out in the middle, which in my opinion gives it some flair. Right in the middle of the device, you will find the blue light ring that acts as the nexus for Alexa, and it acts as the echo dot when you are operating with it, just excellent. On the back of the soundbar, you will spot the connectivity ports, which consist of two HDMI ports, an HDMI ARC port, the power connector, a USB port for charging your devices, and an optical in connection. With the device comes the wireless subwoofer as well which measures 2.44x4.29x36.6 inches in total and it is large enough for most mid-sized rooms. The remote that comes with the device is pretty basic and has some nice buttons to help you out such as the Alexa button. Without forgetting, I should say that the whole setup process will not be longer than 20 minutes and it is pretty easy. This soundbar has a 2.1 channel audio system that has a frequency range that spans from 40 Hz to 22 kHz, and you get about 260 watts of power from the complete setup, which is great enough. The sound performance is decent for its price. In fact at this price, you will have to settle for this. But overall it is a great upgrade. The bass coming from the subwoofer was great and pretty punchy, the mids were very well tuned and clear, the highs were a little lacking, but still, I noticed a lot of detail and responsiveness. 
Hello Guy, we are new channel and our purpose is to help customers simplify purchase decisions, reducing the hour of research, and we do short review of the five trending product in each video. So if something go wrong or information is not suitable, please forgive and comment below to correct us. Thanks. The third place on our list is the Sonos Beam Smart Soundbar. Sonos is probably the biggest brand when it comes to producing soundbars since they have delivered some solid examples, but if you want to get the most value for your money you should opt for the Sonos Beam. This device has a mid-range price, but has tons of high-end features and performance, like Alexa voice control, HDMI, it has a perfect size and pumps out some great sounds. The Sonos Beam looks perfect with its extra long black pill shape, it is a little smaller than most soundbars measuring 25.6 inches in length. However, despite its compact dimensions, the Sonos Beam has four woofers and a tweeter inside it, that delivers a wide and full sound. I like the whole overall design of the Beam, it is a trademark minimal Sonos device. On top of it, you will find the touch-sensitive controls and overall it blends in with the aesthetics of your room. You can connect the Sonos Beam with your TV through HDMI or digital optical audio. However, you can also use Wi-Fi to stream music directly from your phone, and even connect it with other Sonos speakers in your house. As earlier mentioned, it has Amazon Alexa built-in and it responds perfectly to the commands even in larger rooms from far away. I think, it's a great feature to have a voice assistant built-in a soundbar, and recently they have even added Google Assistant as well. From the first impression, I didn't guess that the Beam could pump out such a wide soundstage, but it surpassed my expectations. The sub-bass content is extra rich and sounds pretty clean. Overall, the wide soundstage I mentioned just takes things further and it gives a great effect on movies. The vocals are perfectly tailored by Oscar-winning sound engineers to bring out the best. And as a result, the vocals sound extremely rich and full, distortion was perfect as well and I really can't complain about the sound. While, it won't get extremely loud, it will be perfect for most rooms. Moving on at number 2, we have the Bose Smart Soundbar 700 Premium Bluetooth Soundbar. This soundbar has an excellent sound and build quality, delivers an immersive audio experience for both film lovers and music listeners, and it has the power and features to justify its premium costs. If you can afford the Bose 700, it will be all worth its every single cent. One of the biggest features of all Bose 700 devices that were released lately is that they work flawlessly with the Bose wireless ecosystem. This gives you access to your music libraries in your PC, and it can also connect your music from Spotify and Deezer, or any other music streaming service. However, for the TV, it works excellently and you can even mount it anywhere you want. Even wall mount it, or the classic beneath the TV setup, which is also the most popular and optimal solution. The Bose 700 is designed with a great smooth-to-touch fabric grille on top which covers the aluminum chassis, and I should mention that, the Bose 700 is a little heavy, due to its excellent build quality. Most of the time, Bose has kept secret about what kind of drivers it has used with what setup, but this time, it was revealed that, the Bose 700 has 8 mid-range drivers and 3 tweeters, that results in a pretty smart setup of the 3.0 channel soundbar. The tweeters and drivers are very well placed and angled to give the best immersive and acoustic experience, without losing any clarity. The highs are very directional in this soundbar, however, and you have to be a little more careful about the placement of the device. This soundbar delivered a great music listening experience with various genres tried, and for movies, it was the definite best, with everything being better than ever. All were perfect mids, high, and even lows despite no subwoofer being present. The last product on our list is the Samsung Harman HWQ70R. The Samsung HWQ70R has a pretty slim main unit that measures just 59mm in height, making it perfect for slipping on the bottom of TVs, like a soundbar is intended to. However, in the main package of the device, you will also find wall mounting brackets that are excellent for the purpose, and overall the build quality of the Samsung HWQ70R is perfect, but then again nothing less is expected of Samsung. The subwoofer is pretty nice as well, and is large enough for most rooms, and delivers plenty of low sounds, one of the best in the business. In terms of features, the Samsung HWQ70R is a 7-driver soundbar with a wireless subwoofer delivering a 3.1.2-channel surround sound as a result.
On top of that, the acoustic beam feature is added and is based around a tuned resonating tube that directs the sound to the sides and up top, to deliver an immersive audio experience. This soundbar also supports Dolby Atmos and DTS, X, complete with their other variations, and thanks to the Harman Kardon touches, the whole experience is superb. In terms of performance and power, the Samsung HWQ70R is impressive as it can pump out an extremely wide soundstage, the left and right drivers are responsible for the superior stereo imaging and the center speaker delivers clarity and warmness to the dialogue. The acoustic beam technology is a great plus, of course, if you have reflective walls and ceiling, and not a lot of soft furniture. In a proper home theater setup, the Samsung HWQ70R has probably no other competitor as it delivers a super solid experience, given the right circumstances, however, even without the proper setup, it is enough to be the runner-up when it comes to soundbars. That all for now and thank for watching. Subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to get everyday notification from our channel.